Hello and welcome everyone! This is LP3 Plays Pokemon Prism Nuzlocke Part 4. Uh, last time we were here, uh, I received a Cyndaquil from the Trainer Hall and then subsequently lost it due to a pursuit used by a Hound Dower in the gym. So, uh, Cyndaquil, which we named Char, became our first death. Yeah, yeah. Um, we then rallied to beat the gym, and, uh, we caught ourselves on Marie, uh, which we named Elf. Uh, since the last time, I leveled everyone in the party up to level 15. Uh, so everyone's up to level 15 now. Alrighty, so let's see here. Let's, so we got, we got Elk. He's up to level 15. Uh, I, it, they, I think it learned Sand Attack, because it had Thunder Shock before. Uh, Stoner's up to level 15, nothing new there. Maybe Metallurgy, but Metallurgy doesn't really do much, it just changes him to a part metal type. I don't know if we had that before or not, but I'm probably getting rid of that next. Uh, nothing new for our, uh, Blast. Mothra... I don't know if it knew Twister before, so it learned Twister, uh, which is a dragon type. Uh, nothing new for Peekaboo. And then Paku also learned Twister. I don't know if it had it last time or not, but again, that's a dragon type. So we have some dragon types. Um, so, alright, let's get into this. So we basically are going north this time. Nobody managed that station. And, uh, we're right in the battle. Asking how I beat Josiah. Something kick me her. Kick her cat. Sending out Bellsprout. Elk is not gonna be great against this. But, let's just see if we can tank through it. Leech Lid, that's a bug move. It's not a very powerful bug move either. One Pokemon and you're defeated. I, I just, I don't know how to respond to that. It's a Petra Berry! I think that one cures poison. Yes, it cures poison sweet, so that's like an antidote. Oh man, we have to think fast. Oh, it's a Bird Keeper! Bird Keeper Tyro! Oh, we should be able to take care of this, no problem. Take down Go Pidgey. Taylor! Yeah, we'll leave an Elk! Alright, let's see here. Let's do another thunder shot. Alright. Um, I mean, not really. This is not a new route, so I don't think there's anything even over there. Yeah, there's water over there. Hello, dude. This looks like, yep, yeah, it's a bug, bug keeper. Bug catcher, Bruce. Yeah, let's just give it a tackle. Ow. That move doubles in damage every time, so that's gonna be rough. But, I was able to take it out with only three hits, so that's good. And Elf got to level 16! And he only had the one Pokémon. We're Paku up front now. Ah, there's an item over here. 
also a cave over there, it looks like. That's in the water. Oh, Wild Marie! Haku is not gonna be good against this. Hey, we found two repels. It's a juggler. Juggler jeans. There's a nice ring to it. You know, the other day I was uh, walking out of a store and a clown uh, held the door for me. And I thought to myself, well, that's a nice gesture. And he's got four Pokemon Spiro next. Yeah, we're gonna change. We're gonna swap out Stoner here. Ooh, it goes Pursuit! Pursuit is a dangerous move, as we well know. self-destruct. Absolutely not. Yes, do not learn self-destruct. That is, that is a very bad move for a Nuzlocke. I'm gonna throw in Blast for this last Halo. We do not want to learn self-destruct or explosion. Also, I don't know if it's a move in this generation, but... I was just playing Pokemon Sword, and a Lapras used the move Perish Song, and it killed itself using Perish Song. It also killed my Pokemon, but I was trying to catch it, so it didn't matter. And I wasn't doing a Nuzlocke. Anymore. So if Perish Song is in this game, also not learning that. There's a cave. Let's ignore the cave for now. Oh, 83, this is a new route, but I don't think there's any grass on it. An item. And other two repels. Those will be useful. Hello. I just have to type- okay, yeah, you're- 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 So there's two caves. Mound cave. Okay, this is a new area. Let's, uh... Let's actually throw Pika Blue up front, because Pika Blue knows Sing. Oh boy, oh shoot, that's our rival. Well, I guess we can catch a Paris! I wonder if we could just throw a Pokeball and catch it, because it is like half our level. Throw a Pokeball and see. Ah, darn. Well, it's still asleep. We can try it again. I don't want to accidentally kill it, because I'd like to actually catch it. Hey! Yay! We caught it. Tasso, growing on this Pokemon's back, orders it to extract juice from tree trunks. Um, it's a male Paris, and apparently the mushroom is kind of in control, so we're just gonna name it Shroom. Maybe Shroomer? Yeah, let's name it Shroomer. Shroomer the Paris. 
was sent to box one. Okay, so I have to really decide here. Um... I think I'm just gonna take the safe route for now, and I'm going to go heal first. Well, let's go look at what was in the other section of the cave. This is the same cave. I believe this section doesn't actually go anywhere. I think I prefer the Paris over a Zubat. Though I'm sure we'll end up getting a Zubat later on in some other cave, because they're common in every cave. Mudslap! Hey, that's pretty cool. Another Bat of Zoo. Now remember, if we do happen to find a shiny Pokémon, we are allowed to catch it. Even if we've already caught one in that area. That's the, like, one exception. Heck, I think at that point we'd have to put it on our team, too. Like, no matter what it is, we have to put it on our team because we caught a shiny Pokémon. So, even if we had found one first in Mount K, we wouldn't have been able to catch it. Now oh, there's another cave! This? Route 69, which would, would be a new route, but we don't have the move cut yet, so can't really go anywhere there. Don't leech off of me. People blue don't need no leeching. No! No! So this is why we need a move like Teleporter Gate. Because then we could immediately just go back to the last Pokemon Center right here. Because I'm pretty sure Peekaboo's not going to last 22 hits of this. We can try. I don't think it's going to work. So we got... We can get hit... One... Two... But I'm pretty sure it's too far to walk, so we're gonna need to use a potion. Take that super effective confusion. Peekaboo's at 20 health. That'll be 18. 17. Or 10, we're not gonna make it. We're not going to make it. 
Yeah, yeah. We're just gonna we're just gonna use uh we won't use my hands antidote, we'll use my petri berry. Okay. So unfortunately we couldn't make it back. If we had yeah, see, it, we would have needed like seven more hit points. Alright, now let's go take on this this rival fight. Oh boy, who do we got up front? Mothra? Okay, well, let's stick with Mothra here. It might be beneficial to swap out Stoner for um, Trumer, but if anything, I'll do that in between episodes. We'll see what we have by the end of this episode anyway. I don't think we're going to be entering any new areas by the end, because I'm pretty sure this cave is pretty long. Alright. Here we go! Go, fur. Paris. I have a flying move. I have a force of flying. Take this. Paris is not super effective, though. It's a bug move, so that's not bad. It doubles in damage every time you use it and hit successfully, but. Hey, that works. Battling the rival is always. A tricky thing. Sneasel. Too bad we don't have a fire type Pokemon. It's Dark Ice. Um. Psychic is not good against that. Uh. Man, I don't know what to use. Ice would be super effective against Glass, Stoner, and Pock. Probably Moth or two, so we're left with Elk or Peekaboo. Let's go with Peekaboo. Sleep. Don't cut me! I want cut! Then I can get through that bush! Not have to deal with your crap. You can just stay asleep. I'll say Barry super effective. I don't know how Barry is in dark. Yup, I guess it is super effective against dark. Nice! One. One use of uh, fairy move killed it. And Pika Blue got to level 16. No Pika Blue. Future Sight. Oh, that's a psychic move. Do we have anything? Um. It's a psychic move, but it's one that doesn't hit for several turns. It's like you use it and it hits three turns later. So we're not gonna learn it. Yeah, don't learn Future Sight. Vagon. Let's throw in Paku, because Paku's got that dragon move, and Paku's not dragon himself. Take this, Vagon. Because dragon is super effective against dragon. Though, we also have that fairy move on, which is also super effective against dragon. Dragon moves don't affect Pika. Oh, God! Um... Pika Blue. Okay. Almost lost Paku there! Idiot. And a jerk, but, you know. 
That seems like what Perf is. This cave is pretty massive, if I recall correctly. to the cave. I'm gonna toss down some repels. There's no point to break it, there's nothing behind it. I see a ladder. going down. Let's try that ladder going up first if I can get there. There's a ladder going down. Okay, we're, we're gonna ignore that for the time being. This one goes up. Super potion! That's nice. It heals, I think, 60. Oh boy, yeah, the wild Pokemon encounters are gonna get to be a hassle, but I'll just deal with them. I don't quite know how Nuzlocke's deal with caves. I just assume caves are all the same thing. But like, I guess you could look at it as each level of a cave could get a new Pokemon, but I, I really don't do it that way, because for the most part, you're getting the same Pokemon at every level of cave. Maybe you get some stronger ones towards the bottom, but... I don't know. I view it as just one. one. That's probably the only like, the, the way it's viewed. Wild encounters of plenty. I probably could have killed that one, but whatever. Well, there's a ladder up. There's nothing this way. Oh, there's an item down there. So grab that and then put the ladder up. And I know if I... Oh, a mining pick! I think I can only use... I think the way those work is they're like a one-time use. I received an ore. Yep, okay. So they're like a one time use. They can be a valuable metal. I didn't see if that said metal or material, but. A Shinx? Aww. Shinx are cute. I love the Shinx. But I don't want Mothra to fight the Shinx. Alright, now. Oh, look at this thing. Ah, hello there. I'd like to leave this place. However, these rocks are blocking the exit. I almost have enough dynamite to get rid of these darn things, but I'd need about five more to get them out of my way. Forever, hee hee. Hmm, if I'm not mistaken, there should be some dynamite left. It should be spread out on the bottom floor. However, I saw a bunch of multicolored freaks hang 
hang around there. If you want to help me out and deal with them, be my guest. I'm still waiting for the dynamite. I need five sticks for us to blast through. Alright, so I guess we gotta go to the bottom floor of the mine. So... Let's... I'm gonna end this video here. Uh... Yeah, so I'll end this video here. We'll head that back towards that uh, staircase. Go away, dude. So we'll head back towards that down staircase that I saw. Um, and then traverse down into this uh, mound cave next time to try to find the dynamite. So. Alright everyone, well thank you for watching, uh, thank you for your views, likes, shares, any comments you want to make, uh, yeah, thank you very much, and, uh, everyone have a wonderful day!